that, we've got Crafting with Clarity, our one-day special, and then Design and Sound. We're really excited to be joining you, hopefully, at the Creative Craft Show at the NEC in Birmingham. It's going to be running from the 28th to the 30th of June. Um, it's a brilliant place to come and get inspired. There's loads of demonstrations, loads of people you will have seen on Hachanda, of course, but lots more besides. Now, on the Hachanda stand, we will have our world-famous Tombola. We're also, of course, going to be running inspirational make-and-takes. We hope you can join us. You will get to meet the team as well. Um, there'll be a few people, maybe to get some signed autographs. Uh, if you do want to join us, now, if you order your tickets off hachanda.com, they're going to be 50% saving from the door price. Let me take you through the ticket details. So, if you're an adult, you get 50% off the door price. Use code 142514, and it's just £5. For senior citizens, again, 50% saving, and using your code 232708. And that's just going to cost you £4.50. We hope you can make it to the show. We know you'll have a fantastic time. See you there. Hello, I'm Paula and I'd like to welcome you to the wonderful world of witchcraft. We're situated in this fabulous building called the Corn Exchange right in the centre of Doncaster and we've been here about 16 years. We're delighted to be working with Hachanda, bringing you lots of fabulous products and demonstrations and hopefully lots of inspiration to help you craft along the way. So join us here soon on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. A very good afternoon to you. Yes, we have tipped over into the afternoon. We are having a very busy day here on Ho Chandra. It's great to have your company. And it's great to have your company, Kerry. And Kerry yours Griffiths. too. I've not done a show with you before. No, we've been passing ships in the yeah. night, but yes, definitely. So Lovely super, to be here with you. Super excited. And I think you guys should be super excited as well. You're already online buying what we have available for you. This is brand new today, but not just brand new. This is brand new to the world is everywhere. It? everywhere 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 launching it right here on Hochanda let's take a look at this I think this is absolutely remarkable can you tell us about the design of this um, I'm very much someone who does journaling I do cake which is what I'm known for I, I like texture and what I was looking at within the marketplace is I couldn't find what I wanted and when you can't find what you want you either don't do it or in my case you make it so <laughs> I, I make it, took it to Katie Sue, and they went, we absolutely love this, and we ended up with Bubbles and Pearls, which to me is a versatile mould. It's not just pearls. It's pearls, it's seaweed, or it's icicles, it's, it's alien flesh, as we yes. were talking. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. It's, you can cut it, you can tear it. It's, it's a texture, and it's very versatile, and I'm only just seeing what can be done, and I'm so proud of the design team. Thank you, guys. You've done amazingly well. Yeah, you really have. I mean, there are some wonderful uh, samples that we've got here to give you inspiration and talking of inspiration you're a gold medal winner aren't you in your we cake design <laughs> um, but you are you are at the am, top of your game and that's really yes. important because when we have items that have been designed by world leaders not as <laughs> you lead a world I don't know where I'm going with this <laughs> so, don't tell Trump okay <laughs> <laughs> world leading in their field, yes. <laughs> um, it means you're getting the very best, doesn't it? It means you're getting the very best. Now, these are food safe, so they we can use these for icing, chocolate. Yeah, if you're going to use them for craft, 
get two. Don't don't use the same one. You're going to cross contaminate yes. these options. Yeah, you can use these. I believe it's up to 200 degrees C. So I mean, you can pour boiling sugar in these and let it set. You could use a hot glue gun. So can you imagine taking this, filling it with hot glue, then wrapping it around something? I mean, it would be a fairy castle thing. You put sparkles in it. It's just yeah, it would be amazing. I mean, this in itself. Oh, that was um, and yeah, I mean, this could Maureen. be um, a little can or a bottle that perhaps you're going to throw away, and now you've transported it into something absolutely yep. incredible. It's lovely. I really think that was an old candle holder from Noreen, actually. Oh, right? And she likes to upcycle, and I applaud her for that. And mm. there you go. Beautiful. Perfect. Love this. I mean, you can pick up these um, cost effective, can't you, from yeah. shops where everything costs under a pound. Um, <laughs> and now, look at this. If you wanted to make, create, and sell this at your craft fairs, well, that would be spectacular. An outside barbecue with two or three of those down the middle of the table, and then you've got friends around for the evening. That would be just beautiful. Yeah, it Carry is. the theme through. Have a mm. fish supper. And also, if you in your bathroom as well, because we have got that under the water theme we running do. We with these do. samples that you're seeing. And this one in particular um, is gorgeous. Oh, and that's Jack. Jack Heath. She did so well, but that's beautiful. Isn't Absolutely it? beautiful. Now we are approaching 20% of the stock already gone. I'm not We've surprised. only just not started surprised. the show. 20% of the stock gone. We do have the air drying clay available for you on the show as well. It might be worth heading to the website to pop that into your basket. But I would be quick for this. This is the very first time this has been on show or on sale anywhere. anywhere. Anyway, so we're very, very proud of that. 328548 is your item number. Only £19.99. Pence. Pop that into your basket and check on out. And then you, too, could be making and creating items like this. And if you want to, we've got some great journals coming up for yeah, you. And that journal we're looking at there, Janice, is my first demonstration. Is it? Oh, it superb. It was created by Doreen Thompson. Thank you very much, Doreen. And she gave me permission to recreate it. Oh, um, how it's, lovely. it's a fabulous piece. Love it, love Perfect. it. Perfect. Uh, well, the mould itself, 19.99. I'm going to bring you details on the screen. Well, you've got them right there for your journal books, the A5. You get two of those. Great size as well, £9.98. You might want to pop those into your basket because that is going to be the very first demonstration. Uh, we were talking about this in the meeting. It's a really good size, isn't it's it, It's a handy size. I mean, if you're someone who sketches or you're someone who wants to take something on holiday, just to doodle, I mean, Zentangle, just anything. Put a few stamps in there and take a bottle of watercolours with you and then spend some time on the beach. Yeah, perfect. Them in. It's, any, it's just handable. Handable? It's hand, it, that's handy. a new word. I like that. It's handable, people. I'm going to take handable. that. It's handable. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. handy. You get two for £9.98. I think that is superb value for money. I really do. Because, of course... The actual journal box, uh, they're hard, yeah. so yeah, I'm just knocking that near my microphone. <laughs> uh, but it gives you a chance to build up layers on this and use it's your air drying clay as well. It is robust, mm. yes. That's very good. So two of those for £9.98, there's nothing stopping you from going for two sets. And then you could have two, three, four or five sets. It's entirely up to you. The price will change accordingly. But you two can make and create designs like this for your journey. And again, if you want to make, create and sell on your craft fairs. Totally allowed to. That Completely is a great free. idea. Uh, 513785 if you want to go for the journals, which are absolutely perfect. We've also got some A4 grey board available as well. And again, I think this is going to be great for making any kind of home decor or if you want to make and or create boxes. Or boxes, stuff. yes. As I said, I, I journal, so I've just started work on a brand new journal. Yes. And that's solid. That That's not going to be damaged. That's going to stand the test of time. Yeah. So using it for the spine and covers. Seriously, the amount you get in that pack, you can make loads of these. Yeah, you certainly can. And you I've get... even stitched into it. I mean, it's robust. It's Perfect. a good, solid piece. You're getting 40 of these sheets, 40, and they're one mil in thickness. So that gives you an idea of what you're going to be working with. But yes, you are getting 40 A4 grey boards, £9.99, 916874. And then, yeah, you just need your inspiration and imagination to make mm. and create with these. And that is excellent value for money, as is everything on the mm. show. We're heading to the demos because we've got we some are. great demos lined up let's take a look at the website to get there because on the website this is where you can go to to see all the different molds we've got available and with the molds 
um, they all really fit in with the theme of under the sea or seaside so go and have a look at those seahorse molds they are beautiful now people are shopping ahead you're getting onto the website and placing things into your basket the mermaid I'm sure that's going to be very very busy and we'll go beautifully with the brand new mold we've got for you on the show so that's the website that's where you can head to and see all the items available including that air drying clay right we're back with Carrie we want to get as many demos in as we, we can certainly do. so what are we starting with okay um, I did talk to Doreen and Doreen's method for doing the journal cover was she slightly opened the spring binding took the cover out, decorated and put it back in. I, and I was thinking, what if you don't have those, what if you're on a grey board? You can hole punch it. I mean, literally, just a normal hole punch yeah, will sure. go through this. So I took, um, same size, hole punched it, because I could use those metal rings. You know, Perfect. Them anyway. yeah. um, I gessoed it and I just put some acrylics on, just to give me a watery effect that hopefully represented the colour bands that um, Doreen was using. Now, I've moulded a piece out. This is exactly a mould, and I will show you how to use a mould in the middle down. Okay. But I thought, let's do something pretty first. All right. So, basically, come in from the back. Now, I would normally use PVA glue, but because we want this to grab quickly, I'm just going to put a bit of um, silicone gel on here, just so that I've got an instant grab. I'll put a little bit of white in the middle. Now we're busy on the phones, knew we would be. Uh, yep. Two minute queues. If you've got access to the internet, that's the best way to order because you can jump online and check out your baskets instantly. So put that on there, let that have a little bit of a grab. Right. Um, there are certain elements on this one that we're going to use. We're going to use driftwood, we're going to use shells, we're going to use coral. So I just want to show you really quickly what a couple of these pieces look like. So say I'm going to do a shell. Now, when we do something like marbling effects, we always end up with a little bit extra. Okay. So I tend to get a little bit of white vegetable fat. You could use corn flour, corn starch on it from my American friends. I'm going to take two bits of paste, just mix them together. Now that would effectively represent if I had scraps from marbling. Just pop it into my mold press it down. Oh, I couldn't have done that better if I'd have tried. So, If you do want to get hold of this mould, the details, by the way, at the bottom of your screen, fourteen ninety nine for the seashells. And it's a brilliant way Look at that. to actually use up your scraps. I mean, the detail on that is amazing. I love that marble effect with the shells. I, I Definitely, love it. Yeah. And I, I do literally end up with boxes of them. <laughs> so once they're in your stash, you can yeah. stick them on anything. Yeah. So any last minute bit of job you want to do, there you go with that. Um, Another bit I just wanted to quickly show you, because it is the feature of the front of this cover. Again, I tend to use white vegetable fat, and I think that's probably a handover from my baking days. Yes. But I find one of the problems with the KTC mould are it comes out too easily. Right. I actually want it there to actually hold it in place just a little bit okay. while I'm working. Does that make a difference then, having it in there longer to the detail that you're going to get? No, but it does mean it doesn't move around on me. Right, because yes. Because if I put corn flour or cornstarch in, it can slip and move around. Ah. So if I'm doing something that's more detailed, like later on I'll try and do one of the corals for you, and the coral over and goes, you'll never get that out. Believe me, you'll get it out. So I'm going to start at one end. I'm going to work my way wrong. Uh, wrong. I'm making up the English language today. Do you notice that? Yeah, it's very good, though. It's, I, it's don't, I don't wonderful. mind it. I can understand you. I'm, <laughs> I'm just the same. Yeah, that's what happened. Too many coffees and not enough food. Yeah. So I pop that in the mould and literally out it comes. I love that. Now, once they're done and they're dried, you can go in and you can actually paint in with that. Just any paint you want. You could yeah. use acrylics, you could use patinas, you could use any of the stuff you want in there and it'll give you a great effect. So, one If you do want to get hold of this particular mould that we're using, the driftwood mould, I love it. £16.99, and pence, but look what you can make and create when it's dry and when you've painted onto it. Changes completely, doesn't it? Let me it's, just move that over there for you. There you go. It's just a love great that. way. And that whole set, I mean, I think it's got laugh, love, dream um what's the other one on there laugh love dream and live and live yes and what sentiments and they don't have to be seen and just because it's love on the bit of driftwood doesn't mean it has to be driftwood no no it doesn't it's You're just right. the yeah. sentiment so yeah. it will cross across card making scrapbooking and it's not very thick i like the fact that you also get the piece of driftwood at the bottom as well yeah the spare Absolutely bit of driftwood, spare bit. which is great so let's move back into this then 20 percent is gone of that one wow yeah i, I that, know thank you people that was that was very quick. That was, that was quick. quick. Okay, now I'm going to use silicon glue here. I would say usually use PVA glue, but for the actual speed of deming, I'm just going to come in with these. Now I've got some of the 
um, what's this called? Seaweed. <laughs> now, can I tell you, Kerry, that what? we are approaching a third of the stock gone. Good grief. On the bubbles and pearls silicon mould. Yeah, wow. You haven't even okay. shown you how to use it yet. I know, 12 minutes into the show. So there's an idea. Perhaps get it into your basket. Well, we'll continue to demo, of course oh, we will. But if you definitely. do need it, check on out. So I'm just being quite heavy handed with this because I want it to grab for you. I don't want Janice to be embarrassed and pick it up and it drops all off the front <laughs> of it. Because that's not what we're about, is it? No, not no, at all. No, we try not to do that. So, um, as I said, I would usually use a PVA glue, a good PVA glue, not one that's really thin because they can be, have a lot of water content. Um, I've got a picture here. Can I just sh show this? Because you this is from the packaging can. from the mould. Uh, but you might find this interesting because this was used on a cake. So if you know anyone that loves mermaids, that loves the sea, I mean, isn't that absolutely fabulous? And that cheeky chap is not too bad either. Yeah, uh, but I really like that idea of decorating uh, around a cake. But remember, if you are going for cake decorating with this mould, do go for another one for your air drying clay. Don't cross contaminate. Love now, that idea. What I liked about the way um, Doreen did this was she actually thought it out because harsh edges can really jar the eye in a design and she used the coral in a unique way just by putting it around the edge. It gave it almost a lace effect mm. and it's a really simple effect to do and it, I just hadn't thought of it and it gives this real beautiful look to things. It is lovely, isn't more it? Of the look. So, now I'm using the hearty white air dry, dry clay here. Um, you can colour it with acrylics, you can um, colour it with your distress inks, anything you want actually. I think I might have actually coloured this one with some food gels. Oh really? So yeah, and the thing is, it's not going to go mildew, it's not going to go off. No. Once it's dry, it's completely dry. And there's such a wide range of colours out there nowadays. So. Let's just work on one corner, and yes, I've done my moment, I've prepped all of the others. I'm coming in with a coral colour. Beautiful, be I think coral is actually the colour of the year, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, definitely the colour of the summer, for yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'd suit me, but there you go. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm a coral type of person. So. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. We may have to talk about this later. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just sort of like trying to figure it out. Um, <laughs> I haven't got. Anything. I have think. I don't think. I've, oh, I've got my lip. I've got my lipstick. Coral. Uh, no, I'm yeah. too pale. No, we'll move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone, Janice. Leave it alone. So I've just put one of the corners in. Now I actually, and this is another tip. I can prep them ahead of time. Yes. So I've I've clumped these together about 20 minutes before the show, just so that we've got a bit more speed to this dam so I'm not taking all of your time up and can I say these seahorses are probably one of my favorite molds oh, the, the detail they? in the seahorse that they captured and they're, is... and they're small as well but the detail is perfect oh, absolutely 40% um, of your bubbles and pearl silicon mold has gone this is the first time anyone's seen it anywhere we're launching it here on Hochanda designed by Carrie it's amazing 19 pounds and 99 pence if you do want to get hold of it because we're so busy I definitely definitely recommend popping it into your basket and checking on out we might not be here for the second show Keeps oh, you'll, like be this, Janice. Oh, oh. oh, you'll be here. <laughs> okay, the boss has spoken. <laughs> we'll think of something for we'll, you. Yeah, you'll be doing something, Karen. No, you never know. You might not be, because if we sell out of everything, <laughs> I don't know what we'd do. I'm sure I can make a phone call. I'm sure somebody can make a phone call. So really quickly, hopefully that all stays in place. That's just the very body of it done. And then I just take one of those sentiments. Now all I've done is I've just taken a couple of the little shells. Again, I've done them in the marbled effect bit of silicone down the back of this, place that across the middle. Now I've done this to replicate Doreen's design of a journal cover, but you could have put this in a frame and as you said, that could go into a bathroom. Yeah, it'd be lovely. It'd be lovely as decoration for a wall, it'd be fabulous as decoration for a journal as well. What a great idea. And if you are going for the journals that we've got available on the show, you could make and create that if you wanted. And, and how quick was that with all of the pre-dried yes. creases? Yeah. That's, that's the thing. Sit down, watch a good movie, have a glass of water and, and just make them. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. and then you've them. got them all ready yeah. to go. I think it's a fabulous it's idea. It's a wonderful, really does. wonderful piece. Oh, and thank so, you. Noreen did that. No, Doreen did Doreen. that. Doreen. Yes, there's, Doreen there's the three uh, of us. That. Noreen, Doreen and Chlorine. <laughs> 
Don't ask. Don't get me it's started on that. It's a story you don't want to go near. <laughs> um, okay, let's take a look at the deal of the day. Um, you might need some paper pads to work alongside your air drying clay and your mould. If you want to go for your deal of the day, this is the Clarity set of four paper pads, 12 by 12 designer paper pads, designed by Barbara Gray, 192 sheets in total. That usual price, you are saving on that. It's only 53.96, but I do believe it is available on a flexi buy. I think it is. So go and check that out because it makes it even more affordable. You are getting four paper pads, but you're only paying for three because you are saving, saving, saving. That is your deal of the day. Deal of the day is launched at 7 a.m. every morning on Good Morning Ho Chanda and is supposed to last all the way through until 7 a.m. the next morning. But the rate we're going at today, my word, I don't know whether we'll have any left. Uh, right, we are having a busy day here. Uh, it's great to have your company. Friday the 7th of June, so we're heading into the weekend, so it could be the start of your crafting weekend. Let's take a look at some of the other moulds available for you on the show, in case you want to pop these into your basket. We'll start right here. So this is your sea swell borders, and it's a silicon mould, so you can use this for your food. Uh, but if you are using it for icing or chocolate or your um, hot sugar, for example, it might be worth going for another one to use with your air drying clay and your hot glues and things like that. Uh, we do have freedom price on this one, £11.69. Really like this design and I think you'll find that if you use this for your borders, uh, if you use this to frame as well, to make frame sets, you can see you've got your three different sizes in those swirls, which are lovely, aren't they? Uh, only £11.69, so you get the three borders. They do look like those waves on the sea, but you are approaching 20% of the stock gone. 20% of the stock already gone. Uh, mermaids, always popular. Beautiful, beautiful mermaid, this. Uh, and she's got such a little, uh, lovely little face there. Uh, she's got her eyes closed at the moment. She's probably dreaming, but you can, of course, paint the eyes on there, which is nice. So she, she can be asleep, she can be dreaming, or you can pop some eyes on there if you want to. Oh, she could be winking, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, winking at the whale, £16.99. <laughs> If you want to go for the mermaid, she's lots of fun, isn't she? 858785 is your item number. She's beautiful, beautiful. Um, very busy for that as well. 858785 is your item number. Now, um, to complete your set even further, how about some fish and some seaweed and some coral? Oh, these are gorgeous. These, I'm going to pick up the fish first. Um, because these are lovely. Hang on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. Um, these could be your fancy fish. You could paint them whatever colour you like. We are over half the stock gone already. Mm -mm 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 kissing little fish just there. Uh, you've got a freedom price on here as well, £15.29. So it's the two fish and there's more. Oh, look at the detail in that. Can you see that? Isn't that astonishing it really does look real doesn't it and then you've got your coral as well I mean together absolutely perfect so you get your coral which you saw in the demonstration you get your seaweed and you're getting the two fish as well so all of that all of that 16 pounds and 99 pence but there is that freedom price on there we're moving on we're moving on because there are more molds for you on the show and again if your basket comes to 60 pounds or more it might be um, that you're adding things to your basket and it's totaling up, then you can open up a flexi buy, which means we'll split the cost into two for you. So your seashells mould, uh, this too was being used in the demonstration. What we love about this is that you can use that marbling effect with your air drying clay. So take some white and take a little bit of the other colours we've got available for you. Just mix them together just slightly, not too much because you don't want the colours to blend. And then you get that lovely marbling effect, which of course you get on seashells. And we all know you're not supposed to take seashells from the seaside. They are, no, it's, they're supposed to stay exactly where they are. Um, I don't know whether it's against the law, but I think it might be close to it. Um, so anyway, make and create your own shells that look realistic. A quarter of the stock has gone. A quarter of the stock has gone. There you go with that mermaid there. Perfect. £14.99 if you want to go for those. Right, see, oh, seahorse. Now, Kerry used the smaller seahorse on the design he was using and I'm going to pick both of these up together because you've got the larger seahorse and the smaller one as well and you can see the detail that you've got in there. You can see even the smaller one, that detail is 
incredible now that's uh, with color but if you go for that really nice sandy it's almost like a marble effect again uh, that looks so realistic in fact that could be a fossil that's a good idea uh, if you do want to go for your seahorses it's, it's probably one of my favorite 14 pounds and 99 pence uh, 950169 is your item number now the driftwood and words, I like this because you do get that extra piece of driftwood just at the bottom, as you can see just there, which is really nice for building up your backgrounds. It could be floorboards, it could be the side of a shed, for example, or it could be, as intended, driftwood on the beach. £16.99 if you want to go for this one, proving to be very popular. Five, eight, five, no, nine, five, eight, zero, four, seven, 15 pounds and 29 pence. As a Freedom member, that is your extra um, discount on there, but over half the stock has gone. And there's the piece of driftwood, just got in my hand just there. So that's your extra piece of driftwood that you can use for so many different projects. You really can, absolutely perfect. So just use that on repeat if you want to. 958047 is your item number. Right. Beach House, yes, let's have a look at the Beach House. Uh, we are heading back to Kerry because we've got more um, uh, demonstrations coming up and we do want to get through them all. So your Beach House, oh my goodness. Uh, love this. Who doesn't like a beach hut? Who doesn't like a beach hut? This reminds me of going to the beach when I was younger. It also reminds me of going to the beach now. I'm older uh, because I go to Wales and Ecstasy and they have a whole row of the beach huts there. They're fabulous. But it doesn't have to be a beach hut. It could be a shed. Could be, just saying. So it's very versatile. Um, whether it be a beach hut, whether it be your dad's shed, your mum's shed, or your crafting shed. There's an idea. In fact, you could put a little picture inside those portholes. And it could be like a little family tree. But not a tree. It would be beach huts. Just saying. Uh, £9.99. It's a lovely mould. It really, really is. Uh, 930766 is your item number if you want to go for that one. Oh, we're going to look at the rows. Oh, the rope. I thought you said rows. I was going to say it's rows of rope not rose. Um, these are great and again something that's so versatile. Yes it's rope but it also be beautiful borders that you could make and create to go uh, surrounding your um, pictures. It could be yes the icing on the cake uh, which would be absolutely perfect would it not. Remember if you are using this for food which you can do please get another mold to use for your air drying claim you're the medium. 16 pounds and 99 pence 8 to 8 4, 4, 4 9 is your item number if you want to go for that one. Uh, really do like that because you've got the uh, three different sizes in there. One more to tell you about and that's the mermaid's tail. Um, love this I really do. Um, I'm thinking cupcakes. Yeah I'm thinking in meringues as you can see just there and the mermaid's tail just dipping into the cream at the top of the meringue wouldn't that be fantastic again you can use these molds they are food safe they're award-winning um, but please do get another mold if you're using it again for your other mediums another good idea yes actually malt, um, melted sugar so you get the sugar really hot place it inside then that will be made of sugar if you put a little stick it'd be uh, like a stirrer for your chocolate or your coffee yeah, yeah so there's an idea that good eh uh, nine pounds a eh, a eh, that was right Leicester uh, two four nine six three nine is your item number if you want to go for that one plenty for you on the show all you need to do is choose which you want now remember the grey board very busy for this um, great idea for creating uh, your wall hangings, great idea for creating maybe journal pages. You get 40 A4 sheets. Uh, sheets. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's a new. I told you I make up words as we go along. Right, <laughs> getting 40 of these sheets. And then 999, I did have to say that slowly. 916874 is your item number. Uh, right, all oh, the journals, yes, proving busy for those. You're getting two A5 journals. You decorate the front how you wish. Uh, they come in their raw form, which is perfect, with 
your binder down the side. You can, if you loosen the binder, take the front off and then you can decorate it and place it back. 998 for two A5 journal books. 513785 is your item number if you want to go for, for that. Now you can find everything on the website. You can head to the website and you can buy from us via the website and you can also get your air drying clay from the website as well. But it is all about those bubbles and pearls. Wow, so busy. And we launched this 26 minutes ago here on Hochanda. It's not been seen anywhere else and already half the stock has gone. Fabulous. Thank in you guys. 26 minutes. That's testament to you. That's and Katie Sue, because I couldn't do it without them. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you've got that great design, but you've got, of course, Katie Sue Moulds award-winning. And their winning. reputation is amazing yeah. and well earned. Yeah. So yeah, a couple of things, just while I was watching you come down the table, <clears throat> I forgot to mention too. The reason you've got those strips in gold painted yes. by me—that's how I edge my Christmas cards. Is it really? Down the spine of the Christmas oh, card, if I want it. If I've mat and layered, I just yes. put the. And it's just that little bit of bling yeah. that pulls it together. Just a little. And they work equally as well in silver as well, and all your metallic patinas yeah. will work. Perfect. Um, another thing thinking about too is um, if you're someone who makes models, um, the grey ball's fabulous for it. And don't forget, you can laminate it. Put. Yeah, laminate is the right word. Stick layers of it together if you need to from depth. Just stick two together. Yeah, it that's true. Yeah, robust. let me grab a couple of those. That is a very good point yeah. because they're one mil in thickness. Uh, if you wanted to, yeah, you just could just build them, them up. Together. Yeah. And I believe Jack's told me they go fabulous through her cutting machine as well. Perfect. So, I mean, if you do want to do extra stuff like boxes, I don't know about dies. I think there has to be a slightly bigger die for it yes, to go it through a die Yes, it could machine. work with uh, some of the big dies yeah. that we've got from Sizzix. So, bear that in mind. You'll know that if you've got your die yeah. cutting machines. But excellent value for money and 40 sheets of those for nine ninety nine. That is a great deal. Right. right. So let's jump in. Let's just show you some techniques. As I said, I'm going to show you the coral because no one believes how easy it is. Okay. And then we're going to look at how to actually mould and demould the bubbles and pearls and the hints and trips and tips. I've got your disease, haven't I? Yeah. Hints, tips there's and no tricks. cure. No. There's no cure. Sorry. Yeah, there's more coffee in the world yeah. somewhere. Touched you now, you got the oh, logo. No, <laughs> so I'm going to look first of all, this is the piece that made me scared when I first saw this mould. I thought, there's no way I'm going to get that out really easily. And you can. This is the coral. This is another one that's really good if you're using marbled clay. Yes. Because coral naturally has different colours within it. Yeah, it does. I take a little tiny bit of the white vegetable fat, rub it right down into the mould. Now, you shouldn't be seeing it, it's just there to give you a bit of slip. Yeah. Take a little ball of my, I'm using pink in this moment, this was actually white but it was coloured with the magenta mm. from the coloured packs. And I'm going to work my way along and just press this down and because the white vegetable fat is there, it sort of moves ahead of me. Now I notice you use more than you need. Um, that was because I was greedy and pulled off too big of a pinch. But is that a good way to work rather than trying to guess how much you um, need? I tend to put more than I need in because I then know as I'm working along the cavity is completely filled. Yes. I'm not wasting it. Yeah. Come back into the body of the paste. Yeah. I keep calling it paste, it's clay. Use my thumb just to wipe that little bit off. Haven't wasted it. Go around the edges and just make sure it's all nice and tidy, nice and clean. And once you've done that, ultra flexible mould, bend it over and it's out. That is stunning actually now, when you it, see the detail. It, it, is, it is that easy mm. and it's again it's one of those things you make them put them in a box. Yes. Just put them on some kitchen paper, let them dry, that would be dry probably within half an hour easily. Really? So wow. let's leave that one by there. So just wanted to share that one with you because everyone goes no. All right, <laughs> yes. Now you're saying yes. Uh, busy for that mould, by the way, the seaweed mould, uh, three quarters of the stock has gone. Remember your air drying clay as well, you can get it on the website. You've got your white, which is 500 grams, which is a great staple to have. But then you've got your colour packs available as well, 200 grams, sorry, 200 grams in the white, 9.99. But again, you can extend uh, it by buying the colour packs so you can then change the colours and we've got three options in the colours for you so it might be worth having a look. And they're really intense. Yeah they the are. The colour goes on a yes. very long way. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually prep my mould. Okay. So I'm going to put a bit of corn flour, corn starch in the middle. Purely I want to make sure there's no moisture in there. It's not so much about making it non-stick, it's going to be non-stick. Yes. It's just making sure there's no moisture left in there. So next thing I do is just give it a good old bang out. 
just to get it out there because if you leave any pieces in there they're going to be encapsulated in the clay yeah. and I'm going to have these little creases that maybe I don't want in there. Um, then I'm going to use my white vegetable fat and I'm just going to go around the edges and I'm only going to go around the edges because when I clean off the edges it actually makes it so much easier to take out. Now there's another thing I should mention at this point about this mold remember what your end result is going to be. If okay. I'm going to do something like this and I know all of the edges are going to be covered up and I know the center is going to be covered up, why go all, to, all the way to the edge and get really nice clean edges to my molded pieces? Okay. I don't need them. No. Or if I'm going to cut pieces out of it like in my next stem, I'm doing an oval. So why do I bother with all the edges being neat and clean? That's a good point. And just, just be aware, bear in mind what am I using it for. Yeah. So I prep my mold. I'm then going to take out my bit of air drying clay and oops I stuck to the glue and I'm just going to roll it out with a rolling pin. What is stuck to my rolling pin? Do you know that clay goes everywhere Janice? Glue, sorry not clay. Yes. <laughs> you know what I meant. Though, I you? do, yeah. I do. We speak the same language. Yeah, Kelly. it's terrifying. You know <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to roll this out. Now if you are someone who has a pasta machine you could roll this out on a pasta machine. Just put it between two layers really? of plastic. So the packaging that comes in, you could roll it out so far, sandwich it between that, put it through your pasta machine, it's not going to stick. Gosh. Don't use it without plastic, because no. it's going to wrap around, you'll never use your pasta machine again. Oh my so, word, yeah, but, don't. But if you want to do it quite quickly, or you're looking for uniformity of depth. I just thought, what? if you're making pasta, could, you, no, you, you won't be able to use the pasta in the mould to get the texture, would you? No. No, that no, would just be wrong. No, oh, yeah. So many levels, that's probably wrong. <laughs> So, I'm going to ignore you now, Janice. You're distracting me with other thought, the thought waves. <laughs> so I've rolled it out, and I've rolled it out to probably about two or three mil. Yeah. Okay, it's not an exact science. If I want an exact science, I'll go to my past machine. Okay. Okay, now, a trick to doing this is, this is a really good surface. I take my mould, and I'll just press it on the front. That tells me roughly how much paste I need. Oh. Clay. So I'm going to take my pizza wheel. I love a pizza wheel. I use a pizza wheel more than I use a knife, to be honest. So I'm just going to go around, just roughly take this shape out of here. And this means that I'm not working with a whole body of paste, of clay, that's actually drying out on me. That's a good idea, I like so that. So take that, flip it over, and as you can see, it's almost exactly the right yeah. shape for me. It helps. I'll come in and put some corn starch, corn flour on the back. Now the trick with this mould is start at one end, work towards the other, okay. press down quite firmly and don't revisit it. Ah. Because the more you revisit it, the more it's likely to move around. And do not roll over the top of the rolling pin, okay. which is your first instinct, don't. Because ah. you'll create this little tsunami of clay and you'll get all these double, double impressions all the way along. So firstly, come in and really press down and secure that edge. And then you're going to work from one end and the clay is going to move on you. Try to keep it as clean as you can as you go along. Now you'd probably take a little more time than this because you don't have Janice standing next to you and you don't have a camera crew going, is he going to take that long to do that? I'm not, just for the record, I'm not making you rush. I'm standing here very quietly like a good little girl. You've infected me with the speech thing. <laughs> I can no longer talk. <laughs> so, right, I've, I've pushed that all the way to the end. The only time I use a rolling pin is I'm just going to roll it over the edge and that will just give me that bit of a tear. Perfect. Okay. Now, another trick I use is to remove the excess, I'll just use a piece of paste and it'll pull itself off there. Oh, I get tack off the wall like that. Yeah, I do too. So, I'm going to go along, just take away the excess. Now, as I said, you're going to need to take a little more time than me. I'm literally hurtling through, not because of Janice at all, <laughs> but because I want to do other things as well. Once I've done this, I will work my way around, just push it back in with your finger, I'm only doing a little bit just to clean up the edge. I don't want fringing around this, unless, of course, that's what I want as part of my project. All the way around, all the way around. Now, this next bit is really important. Okay. Use your hand and press down really firmly. Some of the bubbles in this mould are really deep, and to be able to get clay down into them, you want to press down. Then you should be able to peel it back, Oh pull my it out word. and you have a perfectly flexible bubbly piece. That really is amazing. And it is that easy. Now, Gosh. Um, while it's wet you can cut it, when it's dry you can cut it. Okay. Something I like to do is I actually like to tear it because if I'm doing something like under the sea, 
this gives me a really interesting texture. Yeah. If I'm doing something like steampunk or something I'm using as a textural background, I don't want nice clean edges. Yeah. I want pieces that I've come in and I've got interesting shapes. So going back to that alien skin we were talking yes, about, yeah. I could piece this on as a piece of alien skin. It's one of the, it's just an interesting texture. Yeah, it certainly so, is. Love so, that design. So it's just uh, the detail. If we look at this one again, yeah. When when clay dries, it will shrink slightly between I'd say ten and twelve percent. What that does is actually intensifies. The detail okay because of course moisture is coming out so every fine detail gets sharper of course of so course. it looks amazing coming out of the mold looks even more amazing once it's actually dry so to create something like this you would need to wrap it around when it was moist I would probably leave it for probably about 15 or 20 minutes would to you? start because okay this one's been done probably two weeks and I can still pretty much fold it I mean I could with the right glue attach that to glass and no. I haven't cracked it. No, not it's, at all. It's not right. a thick piece. So is it worth waiting for it to dry so the moisture goes I, so you know how much yeah, you've got? Yeah, because the thing is if you put it on there wet yes. and it shrinks you yeah. could end up with a slight gap. Perfect. But if you let it dry for about 15-20 minutes the majority of it's going to be done. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these pieces were done with dried pieces and we've gone in and cut them afterwards. Yeah, isn't that amazing? So, absolutely. That's just, that's mind-blowing. That, that is. really is. That that's may using... not be going back to the office. Right. <laughs> this Sorry, is Dory. using uh, most of the moulds that we've got actually for you yeah. on the show, uh, as you can see there. So that's a lovely way. And again, just changes that pattern completely. Uh, just cutting it out. You can see there on the top and around the, the, the sides. Love that. I think that's fabulous. I really, really do. Perfect. And, and if you pop back and see the second show, I will be doing the ombre effect Ooh, that you've seen. Yes. And also be doing two completely different dams than the ones I've just done now. So. Is that inked or is that clay? That's as it came out of the mould. That's all clay. Oh, that, I thought... That, no, no, that's, that's actually clay as it came out. Now, the oh, viewers gosh. who have seen Catherine Sturrock will already be familiar with her two-tone version. Yes, yes. And it's something I've done in FEMA, so I've done here. And it's a, it's a brilliant effect. You can't get two pieces identical. Yeah, but I like that. if you that. took... Let's see. See, I do keep all my scraps. Yeah, you do. I keep them for everything. So, say I took a piece of blue and I wanted it to be more ombre, I could actually guess, get some white acrylic paint mm -hmm. and almost dry brush this. Yes. And because of the, um, the different depths, it'll just catch the top on it. Well, actually, let's do it with... There you go. So I'm doing this with corn flour or cornstarch, but that's the effect that I could actually get just by dry brushing yes. across the top. Or just get a kitchen towel, kitchen paper, put some acrylic on it and just dab across the top. So many different ways you can use this mould. Yeah. Oh, Gilding waxes. Metallics would look amazing. Absolutely look fabulous. They really would, especially with that alien style um, skin effect, mm. under the sea effect, or just a texture effect that you're getting here. But you can see the wonderful detail that you'll be getting, but you do need to get this mould because we are very busy. Say you were doing a journal front on a steampunk theme about mad scientists, yes. these could be bubbles coming out of a test tube. Yeah, there's certainly, yes. Of course, because you could cut them. You yep. could cut them in all kinds of different ways. Right, I'm going to take two minutes to prep for my next day. Um, okay, and okay. We'll along. Right, so, wow, we are busy, busy, as we knew we would be for this fantastic mould. Uh, £19.99, 328-548. Let's take a look at some of the popular moulds we've got on the show. The seahorse mould, my word, I love this. You can have the seahorses looking at each other. That's what I like about this, because you've got them, one looking one way, one looking the other way. Not only in the big ones, but in the smaller ones as well. 70% of the stock has gone. That is excellent value for money, because you're getting four seahorses within that mould. Two of the smaller ones, and two of the larger ones. So remember looking at each other as well, which is a fabulous, fabulous design. Uh, 950169 is your item number. Uh, next up, the driftwood. I love this one. I do. Over half the stock has gone as this. £16.99, 958047. You get that extra piece of driftwood at the bottom. You've got dream, laugh, live and love with those pebbles. Really like that. And the great thing is, those pebbles aren't going to weigh your cards down because they are as light as air drying clay. £15.29 is a freedom price on that particular mould. 
Now the fish and seaweed, oh again this is a lovely one. The detail is absolutely divine. Three quarters of the stock has gone. So you've got six fish, you've got your seaweed and you've got your coral there and it comes out perfectly each and every time because of course it is the Katie Sue Designs. 917-950 is your item number. Well, we are very proud to launch the Bubbles and Pearls mould right here on Hochanda. We've got Kerry Griffiths with us, just getting ready for the next demonstration. If you do want to get hold of this, £19.99. We are approaching two-thirds of the stock gone, and we're only 40 minutes into the first show. Kerry will be back this afternoon at 4 o'clock uh, with myself. Um, well, he might renegotiate <laughs> that after this show. <laughs> I'm kidding. You may be <laughs> no I, am, I am only kidding. I hope. Um, no, it is. It's a fabulous mould. It really is, and so easy to use. Kerry will take you through all the different techniques um, that you can use this for. But to get this out of the mould and to get every single one of those bubbles and pearls come up from that mould is incredible. Take a look at the samples that we've got for you. Isn't this beautiful? This was by Noreen. 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 Yes, that was by Noreen. Um, I really like that. Upcycling is so on track. I'd at the moment my craft desk, yeah I'd have that yeah my pencils my brushes in there yeah love that <laughs> uh, we've got down below you'll see that fabulous inside that's where you've got that texture and then you've got the fish and we've got a little light at the bottom there that's just an LED light so not a candle using the driftwood at the bottom as well again that would be a really nice little night light for someone that perhaps doesn't like to go to sleep with the light off but you could just have that at the side of the bed and then you could go in and turn it off when they're asleep uh, we've got this lovely chest just here uh, and there's your fish on there but if you open this up this was by Jack Oh, look at that, isn't that? Jack Heath, isn't that fabulous? They've got a pearl inside. Uh, but you don't need to be rich to make and create that. Uh, you just need to get the mould home. And you don't need to be a pirate. But if you, if, if you are, then that's all the better. I was, I was going to try and get that joke in, but it didn't work out. If you're a pirate, then you are. Uh, but it didn't quite work out. And, yeah, sorry. Make me the parrot. Parrot? Does that make me the parrot? No. Tip of me. Tip of me. Polly want a cracker? Not at the moment. No. <laughs> Shimbers. What's wrong with me? You work with me. It's okay. contagious. Just ask anybody. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Sorry. Moving, moving right on. along then. Yes. Uh, what are we going to take a look at <laughs> so, now? So um, I've used some of the grey board and I've covered it just in a bit of my crafting pad. Okay. Just because just so I want a really quick and easy um, project. So yes. this again could be a journal cover. This could go into a frame. This could just be propped up in the corner. Just something. Yes. Now I've taken an oval cutter in this instance. I could have taken an oval die just to work around. Got my craft knife and I'm just going to come in and if you've got a sharp craft knife I recommend a sharp one. Don't use, don't use a blunt one like I tried earlier on. Okay. It doesn't work. You tear your clay. These little scraps, never throw them away. That could actually have some seaweed in that and it's already done. Yeah, that's so a good idea. So always keep your scraps. Put your knife safely out of the way. So I have my oval. Now again, just for speed, I'm going to attach this with a bit of silicone. Let's put that on there. And a bit of white PVA in the middle. Just so it don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere? Really. That's it fine. Do it doesn't go anywhere. So just stick that down. Now, when um, you do the ropes, they will come out and I dry them. There is something to be aware of. The thin one, you can bend quite a far way around. Okay. The thicker one, however, will only go so far because of the bulk of it. Uh, yeah. So if you're doing things like I mentioned earlier on, I'm doing my cards or I'm doing scrapbooking with these, by all means, make them ahead of time. Have a whole box of them and they're done. It's like the um, swirly wave mold i can't yes. think of the name of that one it's already gone swirly wave we'll swirly wave that. swirly wave is another one and i actually keep boxes of them <laughs> oh, and, <crap. laughs> and as you can see they're already done i mean once they're in here i know i'm going to have no shrinkage they're already there they're just an accent piece i can use them whenever i want it's a great way just to use that spare clay and you were saying you use these at christmas time to go yeah, down the side the of your christmas cards like this is meant to be a wave but you know what that could actually be snowdrifts yeah, if it, it was in the right setting. Yeah. It's quite like um, a Greek design as it well. It is very Greek, yeah, actually, like or mythical. oriental you could get away with. Yeah, yeah, you certainly so. can. Um, the design... What are we calling this? It should be written on the back somewhere. 
Sea swell borders. Sea swell borders, yeah. <laughs> so Thanks. the curly wave thing is called sea swell. I can't say it now either. I'm not working with you at four o'clock. I need medical help. <laughs> really? It's out of control. So, so, so while Janice was so kindly talking earlier on, I moulded three pieces so they're actually... These have only been out of... Bless oh your heart. Dear. I told you to be warm. Anyway. Me laugh. Um, these have only been out of the mould for probably about 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Because I want them to have a little flex, but I want to be able to handle them. Yeah. I'm going to put them as a border around this piece. Now, as you can see, really yes, quick. Yes, very uh, good. Because it's really flexible and fun. I'm going to use PVA glue on this because be, I don't have one of those nice little syringes. Okay. So I'm going to put a reasonable amount because I want it to grab for you. Would you use hot glue um, from a glue gun? I sometimes do, but I, I sometimes have a problem that hot glue doesn't seem to like sticking to dry clay. Oh, right, interesting. So if I use two bits of dry clay, yeah. sometimes they peel away from each other. Now, I don't know whether that's everybody or whether that's just me having a moment. Oh, that's interesting. But for me, I don't get along overly well. Yeah. And I love my hot glue gun. Yes, Oh, believe yes. me, I love my hot glue gun. It's just one of those things that just doesn't always work for me. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to push that in up against it. As you can see, it sticks almost instantly. Now, the clay will stick to itself, okay? We have to bear that in mind yes. if it's wet. But if it isn't wet, it needs something to encourage it. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? Now, when it, it comes there. to this last piece, I probably haven't cut enough. The joy of this moulded piece is everything is on a replicated diagonal. So I can cut a diagonal anywhere. And, and then link it, up. it will link up perfectly. So I think it's possible. Uh, we've about had an that. email in from Leah. Okay. And yeah. Leah would like to know can you use resin in the mould? I've been told yes. I've ah. never used resin of any sort, but I have no idea why it wouldn't. No, I, mean, I can't see me, why it wouldn't. That just screams yes on yes. every level. Yeah. Um, yes, because you could do lovely jewellery pieces and yeah, cut out some oh, pieces. Yeah, you certainly could. So, right, I've come in, quite quickly done that. Now, this is what one of the mermaids look like when you paint it up. Now, I find painting them really methodical. I don't know yes. if it's good or bad. No, I think it's a good I thing. Mean, I just sit there for ages, just a little paintbrush. They're so rewarding to get done, and the amount of detail just pops out. So, I come in again with just some silicon glue behind this, just so I don't want it to move because I'm sure they're going to want this back at the office once it's done. So, whether I like it or not. <laughs> so, so, just take that. Now, I've chosen a cutter that is slightly bigger than the Mermaid, but of course, you are partially limited to the size of the piece you have. However, you can butt them together. So, if I had if I had two pieces, let's grab another piece for you. If I had two pieces of identical colour, I could quite easily push these bubbles together and they would make a seamless join. Oh, or if yes. I want to do them this way, they marry up perfectly. Yeah, they so do. you could make a bigger piece, oh, I like especially, it that way. especially when it's soft clay. Because mm. then they'll just you can just manipulate them a little bit into yes. each other. Yeah. So, uh, we've got queues on the phones again, so do bear with oh, us. The best fabulous. way to order is the website, because you can head on, you can check yourself out, and then you're done and dusted. So I'm just or you can check yourself out. Oh, <laughs> gee. Uh, security, please. <laughs> the both of us at this point. <laughs> really, we need to well, be we've been taken out in a handcart by the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Who's pushing it? I'm not pushing it. Ben will push us. Yeah, Ben, Ben, you're pushing us, kid. We're be going to be gone. So, okay, so I'm just using a few little pieces of coral that I made up. Again, using up that stash of mine. Yeah. Going to come in, just put these. And this is such a quick finish. So if you were making these for your craft fairs, if you did want to sell them, now, this is a little plaque all on its own. It could go into a frame. It could be the front of a journal. It could be anything along those lines, whatever yeah. you want it to be. I mean, it's so lightweight, you could actually use this as a scrap scrapbook piece as well. Oh, fish is It'd be nice on. on a door, you know, someone's a, a little girl's or mm. boy's bedroom. Now, That'd be really nice. I'm not going to do it on this one because I'm conscious of time. Okay. However, on quite well, a few of Oh, you've got loads of time. I do? Oh, fair. Yeah. We're going to do this then. Uh, see, this is what happens when I don't look at a watch. So I'm going to take a little bit of my silicone glue again. You could use PVA glue for this, and I tend to come in with little clusters of glue, and this is going to go all over the floor, but we'll deal with that. 
Oops, and so did the lid. And I'm going to come in with some little seed pearls just to add that little wow factor and also I've got some little gems here little crystals from my sewing stash and I can just put those in as well just to give it that little bit of sparkle just so it catches the light it's all about adding that little bit of wow because I mean this is a little girl's room she wants to have something sparkly yeah that is lovely so just by adding little bits and pieces they will then catch the light yeah, really does look good, doesn't it? So, so there you go. So, really, so as I said, that could be a journal front. Yes. That yep. could, go could be a wall frame. plaque. Could be a wall plaque. Could be a page of a front page of a scrapbook, even. Yeah. Could be celebrating a holiday family album. Could be the top yeah. of a box. Could definitely. I haven't thought yes, of that. Yes, that would be really nice. I saw the, the side of a box, you know, like a treasure chest, for example. Or can you imagine having a really nice box and in it is all your family photos? If anyone prints a photo anymore. I know. Uh, or on um, your bed. Headboard. Yes, yes your headboard. I'm with you on that that one. would be really we, we good. At last. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah, you got there. We got what there. Minute 52, we made it, Janice. We are well team. Well done, well done. So, um, that is beautiful, isn't it? It really is. And the mould can be used in so many different ways. The detail in here is perfect. Um, and all you need is your inspiration when you get home. You're going to enjoy using this, you really are. Whether you're using this for food or whether you're using this with your air drying clay and your other mediums. Remember, if you are going to do that, it might be advisable to buy two so you don't cross-contaminate. Now, we've had a very, very busy show. We launched it at the top of the hour, £19.99. And, and how much of the stock has gone? 70% of the stock has gone. Fabulous. Thank wow. you, guys. Thank you for the belief. 70% of the stock has gone of your bubbles and pearls. If you come with me, Kerry, we'll yep. take a look at what we've got on the show. Um, now, with this particular mould, um, when did you design it? Ooh, this has been in design for about six to eight months. Really? We don't do things quickly at Katie Sue because that's what has built their reputation. Mm. I mean, there's a couple of moulds in process at the moment that have been on the blocks for about a year from me. Wow. They are so thorough, every single stage has to be gone through again and again until it works. And yeah. that's the whole point. Uh, we don't want you to buy something and then get disheartened and put it in the drawer and never use it again. Yeah. We want you to be creative and to be able to offer you the best we can that's that's why Katie Sue is Katie Sue. Yes. It's not a quick process. We don't go, oh, this is a trend. Let's throw something out there. No, we work at it. Yeah, and it certainly it certainly shows in the quality of the mould that you're getting. As soon as you take this out of the packaging, as soon as you feel it, it's the quality of the mould, but also the quality of the design as well. You're really going to enjoy and using this. And I do this. have to thank the design team. Jack, Noreen, Doreen, and everyone else. Thank you. You made my work look fabulous. Yeah, really it does. It really did. Yeah, it really does. Thank you so much. Nine £19.99 to get this mould home, but over 70% of the stock has gone. There is another show today at 4 o'clock. People do buy in between the shows be as well. Show. Yes, it might be a very short show. Uh, but if you do want to get hold of that, it's 328548 is your item number. Uh, we're moving on down. Uh, should we take a look at the journals? Yes. Um, now, these are fabulous in price, but also you can use these with your air drying clay moulds as well because they make a fabulous front cover. You're getting two of the A5 journals. You've got the spine at the side, so you can loosen that, you can take off the front and you can decorate it like we've done here. Um, it gives you a chance to use these for whatever you want because of the size. This is the size where you're going to pop it into your bag and take it out with you. Pop it into your handbag, your man bag, have it at the side of you if you're sitting down, for example, and you're one of these people that gets inspirations and like to sketch or put ideas down. It's going to be perfect to do so. There's, there's a trend that's been going on for a while now which I absolutely love about journaling. Um, for people advancing in years, Mm. Making a memory journal is a great way to combat losing memories yes, and true. to actually give them one of them that they've either helped construct or you've constructed for them is a great way to jar memories, to bring them back. Yeah, it, it is. It's a wonderful way. And if you want to get hold of these, then they're only nine ninety eight for two. Five one three seven eight five is your item number. Now, the grey board. This is something you could use yourself to make your own journal books if you yeah. wanted to. And I um, do. And yeah, and this I, is I a do. sample that you've put together. Yeah. 
Um, so you, let me just pick, if you hold that, yeah. I'll pick this up. Yeah. Uh, you are getting 40 of the A4 grey boards, and it works out to be 24 pence per sheet. Excellent value for money. They are one mil in um, depth. However, if you wanted to stick a few of these together, you could make it thicker if you wish. Maybe you're doing some kind of construction, yes. for example. It's going to give you um, the strength to do that. 916, not physically, but the strength in the board. <laughs> uh, 916874 is your item number. 40 of those. And the great thing is, these are going to be delivered to your door. And if you are a Freedom member, that is a delivered price at 9.99. Excellent that's, value that's for money. That's always a good deal. Yeah, it certainly is. And also a great size for building, creating and making scenes as well with all the different moulds you are getting. Uh, the bubbles and the pearls will look fabulous uh, just going all the way over that A4 grey board. I really would love that idea. Um, now, you're back at four o'clock. Yes, with or without you. With or without <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I would um, love to work with yeah, you and again. I'd love to come back as well. <laughs> um, so I'll give you a check in the post. Uh, <laughs> You can watch this show again, if you dare, on Rewind to get that inspiration. But Kerry will be back with you at 4 o'clock. Please stay where you are, because we've got more coming up on Ho Chanda. Thanks, Kerry, and I'll see Thank you in you. a bit. Thank okay, you, everyone. Bye bye. Right, coming up now, we've got Crafting with Clarity One Day Special with Paul Church, Design and Sew a little later on, then Introducing Picket Fence Designs with Catherine.
And we're live. I knew I'd get here in the end. How are you, Catherine? Oh, good. I've been looking forward to this challenge. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Let's hope everybody knows about it. We dropped enough hints. Oh, I it? think we did, yeah. <laughs> I think we did. Uh, it's great to have you company. This is Facebook Live, so you'll be watching us on your tablets, on your smartphones, uh, even your smart TVs, who knows. Uh, but it is great to have you company. I'm here with Catherine because we are going to take a look at the fabulous set of dies and stamps that you've chosen yes. for our brand new supplier yes. here at Pick Hochanda Studios. Mm. Had a lovely show. Yeah, we did. And, uh, me and Janice this morning, we worked together, didn't we? We certainly we? did. Really now, nice. you had a hand in choosing the designs um, that we had available. Why did you like them so yeah. much? Yeah, I did. Um, I like them so much because, well, they're quirky. You've got quirkiness in there. You've got beauty in there. You've got florals in there. I thought it was a nice mix of all sorts, of everything. Something yeah. to suit everybody. But I particularly like the quirky side of it. And yeah, that's what we're going to go quirky. with, I think, during this uh, Facebook Live. Perfect. All right. Well, we are on Facebook Live, and I've got um, our tablet here to prove... Oh, look at... I, I think, oh, I'm looking a bit white. <laughs> I'm a bit... Oh, I should our have aprons. That's because of our aprons. Oh, yes. Yeah, the whole aprons. My aprons have purpose gone for a bright colour today. So it, oh, no, look, this is my apron, mm. my own apron, because I've started decorating it. Look, I I'm like going to decorate it up with uh, all the bits and pieces that the guests bring I to like us. I like that. Oh, you look really yeah. good in yours. I'm going to Maybe I should paint have two it in and colour. put colour on at some point, but for now, I've just got one little stamp. Okay, perfect. That's all. Oh, look, there you go. Yeah, it's Sydney. We sold a lot of her this morning, didn't we? Sydney. Sydney. Oh, Sydney. I thought you'd be all posh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sydney. Sydney. Um, so, we'll have your comments. Um, <laughs> that sounded really rude. We'll have your comment. No, um, if you'd like to comment um, or ask questions for Catherine, I can relay, th relay those questions um, onwards. So, that is fabulous. Brilliant. Okay, and I'll just send you a couple of love hearts just to let you know it's me uh -oh. and no one else. Now, I'll give you a thumbs up. There you go. It is me. Right, Catherine. Over right, I have nothing planned, Janice, apart from which stamp we're going to start with. Okay. okay so we're just going to see where we go with it. I've brought various bits and pieces in, and I've decided we're going with our BFF girl. Perfect. Now, that's a lovely stamp with a die that matches as okay. well. So the only thing I've done in preparation is die cut a mask. You've got one as well. We're going to use oh. that as a mask. Oh, okay. okay. But everything else... We're just gonna, I don't know where we're going with it, we're just going to go with it, but you're going to craft along with me. Perfect. And then we'll see what time we've got and we might do something else afterwards. All right. So, I have preset her onto my stamping platform. There is a, a, a block there, acrylic block, Janice, if you want to use that, or yep. you can use my platform when I've finished. And you should have a little square card there. That one? Okay. Uh, a square card that opens, and also your piece of spare card, you can use that as well. I'm going to give you two chances at this, just in case something goes wrong. Okay. We've got a second option. All okay, right. that's what I'm thinking. So, you should have a little ink pad there. I, uh, the packet fencing. I've got the little, I've got the little one. Okay. Um, Catherine's got the larger one. That's the little one. These are available in a set of three, two little ones and a large one. Lovely. Now, I'm going to do mine first and then you're, I'll pass this over actually because oh, okay. we've only got one stamp, haven't we? So, yeah. thinking about it. So, I'm just going to ink up my stamp. Now, I have positioned it. Now, on the piece of card, the single piece of card, it doesn't matter if um, if it's not in the centre because we're going to cut this one out, possibly, if we need it. Now, she just fits on. Just fits on. Hopefully, yours is big enough because I've cut yeah. these down a bit smaller. Now, because the stamp just fits this way, if it hadn't, I could have turned it that way and done it sideways, but I, I prefer to see it straight up if I can. Okay. There we are. I've got my stamped image. Would you like to do yours? Oh, on the platform, yes. And then we'll swap back just okay, so okay. that uh, you're not hanging around too long for me. So you can so ink get, up so ink the up. little ink pad. Do you know what's really weird? Doing it upside down. So I've, never, <laughs> I've not used a stamping platform. Haven't you? No, I've not used one before. Um, so I've just turned it that way and I'm like, oh, she's upside down. Well, the nice thing about it, Janice, is if you put your card piece right into the corner against the rulers, Yeah and then stamp with it. If it doesn't quite stamp properly, you can go back in. Oh, I like the fact that her her legs have got the, the, the colour of the uh, ink that you're using. So That's you don't it. Need to These are great in. for colouring in. If you're not very good at colouring or you're a bit okay. frightened of it, there's not a lot to colour here. Really? In fact, you could just do it totally with a black ink or emboss it as well. So pop, That's it, it. pop it there. Lovely, yeah. And then just... Oh. Pop it down. Is she going to fit? Uh, just you can. You've got a little bit. You can just go up a little ah. bit. Just watch where you're marking, just in case we need to go again. There? That'll that'll, that'll sure. be good. Yeah. Okay. Right. Press all over. Make sure you've got every little bit. Okay. 
Now Ready? the card may stick to it and it may not. Okay. I haven't got any magnets under there, but oh, there you oh. go. That's oh, all right. That's not bad. That's okay. That's not bad. Let that's, me lift it up. That may safeguard you if something goes wrong. Okay, that is my first uh, attempt at so that's using. that's practice girl. Okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab this back again. Like now, that. now you've had one go. Yep. Hopefully, a bit more confident now. You've, we're going to stamp on the square card. Now you can see it does overlap a little bit, but if I put that down, we can see it's going to clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this time, make sure it does go in the bottom corner. Okay. Okay. Now you have got uh, a die cut shape that matches perfectly with this stamp, which I've already done for you. I've got a little bit of paper on there. Oh, I think it's underneath. Right. So again, there, just press down. We are going to colour her in. And there she is. There you go. So you can decide, Janice, if you want to move her. But I, I would say play it safe. Just I would just leave her where she is. I like so it. So she's kind of to the uh, right hand side of that yeah. card. Yeah. Okay. So I'll get my ink again. Yeah. Now, if I have a look at what I did last time, probably didn't get enough on the. Put it down there. Now we've got quite Lovely. a few people watching us, which is good. Um, I'll say hello to you guys in a moment. I'll just get this stamped if you don't mind. Um, that's about right it. Right on the top of that's it. There was a little bit on the top of her head, I think, that was not That's inked. right, that I missed out last time. Okay. Lovely. So I've got a bun. Place that Lovely. within the frame. Yep. So that's down. That's it. And then let's bring this. Just go for it? Yep. Okay. That's and then it. Give that. Make sure you press all the way. That's it. Lovely. You still have to press the same, um, you know, um, what I'm trying to say. When you're using a stamping block, you press down. Do you do the same with a stamping platform? It depends platform? on the, pla uh, the platform, to be honest with you. Some are more rigid than others. This one's quite flexible. Oh, that's not bad. That's lovely. That's really good. So you can I take like that off. You don't need to go back in. There we are. So we've stamped. That's the first part of our card done. Very good. I like Very that. good. Lovely. Right. So what Thank we're going to do now, Janice. I'll hand that back to you. Let me pick up Thank the... Thank you. Uh, Let's have it. Let's see who we've got. I need to get my glasses, actually. Can I borrow your glasses? You can. Oh, there you are go. Are we the I'm same? I'm back in a minute. I think, what are you? Yeah, they're just reading glasses. Are you a 1.5 or a yeah, 2? Yeah, 1.5. Oh, I'm a 1.5 as well. Is might, that? They might want cleaning. Well, these are nice. I like these. Um, okay. We have got Beverly B. Crafty Tots. Ooh. Hello, girl. How are you? Uh, great to have your company. We've got Stephen. Hello, Steve-o. We've got Marcia. We've got Karen. We've got Heather. Hi, Heather. Hope you're well. Hello. We've got Lisa John, top fan. Like to see that. Uh, so you're all here. It's great to have your company. Um, any questions, by the way, you've got for Catherine um, or myself, but mainly Catherine, um, please do get in touch they're all saying lovely hello uh, go Janice oh <laughs> no I know what you meant I know what you meant um, oh this is lovely and again I'm gonna send you a couple of love hearts just so you know that it is us and we are live perfect lovely, lovely. thank you very much great to have your company oh and Claire's just joined us and Pete hi oh, Pete wonderful. hi Claire hello oh, I like your glasses Catherine I might keep them do you mm. they're from a well-known supermarket right there we go. Now, I've chosen two colours of distressing. Would you like to choose two? Any two? Okay. Um, I've gone for pink raspberry and fossilised amber. I am going to go for the spice marmalade and the ice spruce. Ooh, ooh. Oh, right then. Say. Okay, so I'm going to give you, I think I'm going to give you that door, but then we don't need clean sponges. We're going to use the you same can have your one. Back, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I might need them myself in a minute. Yes. Right, we haven't got any stickened, sticky stuff, repositionable stickiness under our mask, so we're going to have to hold that in place, Janice, so okay. we'll just have to be careful not to move it. Right. Now, what we are going to do... Oh, hang on a minute. Just wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You're hiding something under there. I've got some sticky tape. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to keep my mic quiet sometimes. <laughs> Take down because it's... Oh, do it right. Some. No, I'll, no, I'll, I'll, I'll try and manage. Now then, you can choose whichever colour you want to go with first. Yep. I'm going to go with my yellow first. Oh, okay. I think you. Mm, I'm yeah, not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell. I'm going to let you decide. But when you pick up some colour on your sponge, go onto your glass mat I'm because go for the really work the colour into the sponge. Spice marmalade. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was good. Okay. So There's no right and wrong. So you get. No. Yeah. Go onto your glass mat. Okay. Just work it well into the sponge. Okay, and what we're going to do, 
we're going to start working around. Go around the edge of the card first. Okay. We're not going to cover the whole thing. No. And then start to blend around it. Don't do it neatly either. You want it so that it's, you know, it's um, a little bit random. Okay. Don't keep reloading your colour. That's it. Keep yeah, is going. it all right? Yeah. Keep so going. go all the way up to her from the edge of the car. Go up to her, but you're covering where you've stamped, you see. You've masked her off. Okay. You put that there. But I tend not to keep reloading, and then as I go closer to the character. I think I'm. Do you know what? It's a little I'm bit more faded. too hard on my sponge. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, you don't need to press too hard. No. That's all right. That's okay. Is that all right? Yeah. I think that's what, what, you, I what you don't want is a solid colour. You don't want it to look one colour. You want to see it sort of fading out. I'm just going to okay. take mine. I'm not going to do the whole oh, card, just now. an area. Yeah. So when we take our mask away, we've, we've not uh, covered our character, you see. But we've not finished. Okay. It's all right. Right, now keep your mask on there and go with your second colour. Same sponge. Same sponge. Yeah. A little bit at a time because you don't want to change. You, you want to see how your colours coming out. So I know because I use these colours quite a lot. If I go with the pink raspberry and the fossilised amber, I'm going to get that really sort of peachy, orangey colour coming through. Oh, so nice. just go over where you want. You don't have to go over the whole lot. You can bring more of one colour in than the other. Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, swap it for that one. My sponge has fallen off. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, is that that's, that's, there oh, you go. Oh, I see. That's attached to the sponge. That's that's why. So, oh, that's better. Right now, when you do the second colour, Janice, come a little bit further out into your white area. So, where do I start? Again? A little bit. Start wherever you like. Oh, okay. Just go over it then. Go over it. You don't have to go over it all. You want to blend so you get different colours coming through. So you can go darker in one place, lighter in another. Blend some. Don't blend some. Oh, I think I've met. I think mine's gone a bit goth. <laughs> I that's think all right. We've got yeah, lots to do to it. Yeah, we're just we're just playing with different techniques and uh, different colours. Be nice to see actually how yours comes out in those colours. Yeah, it would actually. Oh, I, I like that. Do you like that? I do like that. Oh, okay, then I'm I happy. really like then that. I'm, then I'm all right then. Okay. Now I'm just going to suggest yeah, you come like a it. little bit further into the white because we're going to do something else, and it's, it's not a straight line, but sort of. Make it a little bit less of a straight line. Okay. Lovely. There you Beautiful. go. Beautiful. Now, we could get lost doing this. We and, could. <laughs> and forget you lovely people at home, so I do beg your pardon. Um, please do send in your questions. I'm just going to have a check. Um, let's see. I thought Janice was going to pull out loads of umbrellas to add. <laughs> Maybe it might be worth reading the question in your head first, Janice, <laughs> before you read it out loud. So I'll do that. <laughs> oh, Janice, we're going to pull out lots of embellies to add to her project, like cheating Catherine did. <laughs> do you know about the craft of love? <laughs> no. Oh, do, you, do you not know about that? Did you Myself cheat? And Lou? Did you cheat? What happened? What she happened? I was what very happened? naughty. Oh, what? it was really funny. What happened? Well, we had a happy hour and we thought we'd spice it up a bit, so Lou with us came in. Mm -hmm. So we decided to have a craft off. Yes. Um, but what Lou didn't know was that before the hour, I went round collecting all sorts of sparkly things and flowers <laughs> and also, and I've got them stuffed here, there and everywhere. <laughs> so when she wasn't looking, I was kind of just pulling bits out and sticking them on. Oh, Catherine, you're a girl of my own heart. <laughs> Very good. Well, that was from Steve-O. Thank you for that. Oh, that was funny. Uh, remember, get your questions in. Catherine's here to um, answer any of them. That was funny. Right. Right, OK. Now, leave your mask in place. Yep. Now, we've seen this done lots of times. It's not a new technique, but, Janice, have you ever done it yourself? What's that? Spritz. Oh. Now, this isn't a fine mister that I've got, and neither is yours, I don't think. Oh. So, just spritz. Let the water land, just randomly. <laughs> that's it, lovely. That's it. That's enough. That's it, isn't it? Right. Let's it. it. Sorry, that was real left. <laughs> then you should have some paper towels, I think, for mopping up. Uh, yes, I uh have. -huh. Okay. And then we can just blot 
over the top. Okay, so just open that up and blot over the top. I hope yours works. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? I'll tell you if it doesn't. Paula. I'll have you know because mine works very well. I fine. asked if there was a spare spritzer bottle for Janice and they gave me that and I'm not entirely sure it's just water in it. <laughs> so if it doesn't work, yeah. that's why. Right, I've, you might have to borrow mine. Okay. <laughs> what was in that then? It's, it's nothing bad. Oh. It's just a product that is used when you're embossing. and. Right, just spritz with my water. And if you don't get enough on there, you can spritz again. That's it. Let the water drop. Should okay. we do it again? Uh, no, you can go with that. You can always spritz it afterwards if yeah. you're not sure. Right. Surely it's got to work now. It'll because work now. This, is, this just, is just water. So nothing else in there. Nothing else in just there. Just water. Just water. Nothing else. 